Remember to use Goethe's three questions as a general approach in your criticism. What was the director trying to do? How well did he or she do it? And was it worth doing? With this in mind, it doesn't matter whether the director chose to set Hamlet in outer space and decided that all the characters were gender neutral, or if they were extremely loyal to the original type of Elizabethan approach to the play. Your job with the first two questions are to answer them without judgment. The third question allows you to say whether or not the approach was worth doing. If the Hamlet in space did nothing to help clarify the message of the play, in fact, if it made the play's message wholly unclear, this is where you, as the critic, get to say so. With the strictly Elizabethan approach, it is with the third question that you can say whether the director's concept made for a boring show or an exciting show. So you might write something like this. The director seemed to be using the outer space approach to say that the problems presented in Hamlet are ones that are transcended by time and location. Of course, you could further elaborate on this. The choice was fully carried out and made for a visually stunning production and a very interesting staging. You could elaborate further on that. However, it is the opinion of this critic that the concept was heavy-handed and did nothing to help clarify what the playwright was trying to say. If this was someone's first viewing of Hamlet, I don't think they would have any idea what the play was about. Again, that could be further elaborated upon. Conversely, the director tried to stage the show in a traditional approach. This could be further elaborated upon. The look and feel of the play was exactly what one would expect from an Elizabethan production. This could be further elaborated upon. While the play was clear and the language was clear, overall the approach left me flat. I wanted something more to hold my attention. This could be further elaborated upon. So you can see the first two questions are just dealt with directly and the third question allows you to really say how you felt about it. So. Good direction means the play is consistent in its style while being exciting to watch. The director's concept allows any problems inherent in the script or the theater or the casting to be effectively dealt with and any strengths to be used to their full advantage. Good direction is usually most obvious in the actors. If the actors are good, all seems to be working in the same style towards the same goal. If the staging is fluid and interesting and helps the story, the director is the one responsible for it. Conversely, if the actors are all over the spectrum in terms of style, if their movement is unmotivated and the staging is static or clumsy, if the actors seem to be telling different stories or no story at all, the director is the one responsible. If performers seem to be confident in what they're doing and the technical aspects of the show run smoothly and are properly timed, the director is the one responsible. Good direction is rarely obvious. Good direction supports the actors and the playwright. It doesn't overshadow them. The exception to that is a director who is putting their concept over the top of the text. It can still be good direction and obvious. You're not going to see that very often outside of major centers of theater. If a play's tempo is right, that is the result of good direction. If the play is slow and the pace is uneven, that's bad direction. 
If the rhythm of the lines is clear and organic, that's good direction. If the rhythm of the lines is forced and unnatural, bad direction. Could you say any of this is bad acting versus good acting? Yes. However, if the majority of the actors in the majority of the play have bad qualities to them, that's definitely the director and not the actor. If all the actors in the play come off as organic and good and wonderful and motivated, etc., etc., and one actor doesn't, okay, that's probably the actor's fault, not the director's fault. Okay, hopefully that helps.